in Wise County. I was born and raised at the playground as well. I spent most of my days shooting some b-ball outside of the school and a couple of guys that were up to no good. I don't know the words. I'm going to make them up, but I'm here to do an art tutorial for you. I'm going to draw and so are you. We are going to draw something that's real good. <laughs> today's tutorial is about. I hope you don't know. I think you'll figure it out. It's about something cool and something neat. It comes from something I call the street. What we're gonna do is gonna color here. We got some kids in the neighborhood watching over there. They're watching me, they're laughing, I don't know what to do. But I'm gonna continue to sing to you. We're gonna color, we're gonna draw, and then I'm gonna see what y'all do together. On my page, we're gonna put together, it's the greatest rage, yeah. Well, here's take four, I'm trying to more because take three didn't work. As you'll see, I didn't press a chord, so I made myself a fool, but I'm going to do it again just for you. I'm cool, I'm hip, and so are you. Together we are going to draw something too. It's, it's urban, it's fresh, it's light, it's neat. It comes from the urban, it comes from the street. Urban street art is what we're going to do. It's not graffiti, that's not cool. We aren't going to do things that break the law. We're going to do something for all y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're gonna make some urban art. That's right, urban street art. We're gonna go hip hop style on this one. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cool. Now there's two versions. One, there's a simple version for the younger students. We're just gonna focus on a little robotic cat head. Number two, it's a whole thing that could go on a wall as an art piece. So, a mural if you will. So, we're gonna do that, we're gonna get to it, and I hope you have a good time. If you have any questions, slow the video down and we will see how it goes and uh thank you for tolerating my raps or lack thereof peace okie dokes my pages are rather large um in size and that's okay even if you use half the size that i do that is fine what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come over here to the left first and this is where I'm going to start about this big, my little robot kitty, okay? So my robot kitty, he's gonna be kind of at an angle. I'm not gonna make a block face, I'm gonna kind of put a light curve here um, because curves just add a little more definition and intrigue to an otherwise flat drawing. Now remember, it's okay to move your paper around and flip it as you work. See, it's easier for me to get that slight arc if I rotate my paper. Now rotating means turn it around. And I'm gonna also make a little arc here. Okay. I'll flip this around and I'm going to do an arc down here. Erase a little bit of that additional lineage there. And this is going to be my little cat's robot head. Now, what's going to go on in here is he's going to have pretty spiky ears. One, and that's two. Nice and triangular. And inside, I'm going to take it further and put a little triangle here and a little triangle here. So remember, we're not trying to make it look real. We're trying to make it look kind of robot-like, okay? So to make it more robot-y, robotic, I guess is the correct term, we're gonna add a little antenna. And on top of that antenna, I'm gonna add a little arc and a little circle there. Okay, and I'm going to put the little bursts out like this. Right now, they're a bunch of little Vs, okay? They look like little Vs and then I'm gonna connect a little bit so they have a little bit more shape to them. Shapes are always good when it comes to street art. 
Now what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to add a nice big circle of an eye. And over here I'm going to add another big circle of an eye. That's a little bit too, too far over there. I'm going to erase that. So always draw lightly because when you draw lightly before you color, it's so much easier to erase. And that's always a, an excellent tip. So I'm just going to move over slightly. There we go. All right. Two circles. And inside that, I'm going to make these cutesy little robot circular eyes here. But I actually want them to look more straight on. See, it's okay to make changes to your the drawings in any way that you feel fit. All right, there we go. That's more robot-like. And I'm going to make his nose another triangle, but I'm going to do it with the arc. And I'm just going to kind of put it, put it a little askew here. Okay? Because I want him to have a little bit of a curve. There we go. A little bit of a smirk of some sort. There we go. Okay. And he's going to have... His mouth is going to come down here. And he's just going to... Pull it down a little bit. And we're going to go right there. And then we're going to do another one. Right like this. Okay. So he's kind of cartoony. Hmm, you know what? That's fine. Actually, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy for doing this, but I think I want his eyes spaced further apart just because it looks a little cuter that way. But again, what are we learning from this? We're learning that it's okay to make changes to your art. And we're learning that it's okay to make a mistake. And we are learning that when you draw lightly, what happens? You can very easily erase your progress and make changes how you would like them to be. Which is what I'm gonna do right here again. There we go. Okay. I kind of like that better. And I also like the fact that if I put the little eye mark over here. And one over here. There we go. Yeah. That brings me more joy. Okay. I like that better. It just looks a little, a little goofier. Okay, now, because he's a robot, he's made out of metal, I'm going to add some bolts, little circles for bolts along the side of his face. Okay, cool. Now... For his neck, we don't want a big long kitty neck, we want a robot neck. We're going to just pull down here and we're going to make two lines and slightly curve, always a slight curve here, a somewhat rectangular shape to make it look more robotic. Where I'm going to add another one, just a little bit smaller. There we go. Robotic in nature. And now... I'm going to add his body. Now his body I want with also a little curve here. Okay. And I'm going to actually take it upwards at an angle a little bit. It's a little bit too angled maybe. Let's see here. There we go. I'm going to angle this one out 
So it's kind of a cone shape. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna connect it with that little arc there. There we go. Looking pretty cute, I think. raise my chair a little bit sorry about that okay so to make it more metallic looking or metal looking rather <clears throat> I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go a little bit over the line there we go I'm going to make a metal plate And that is just going to overlap slightly. I'm going to erase the inner part. And this becomes a place to add more bolts. Right? Okay. And here we have a place that we can add more bolts there. And we can add more bolts here. Okay. Now, let's think about it. He's looking pretty cute. I have to clean up a little bit here, sorry. Well, it's always okay to clean up your lines a little bit along the way. All right. Now, let's come down here and add a little half circle. This is where one of his legs is going to start. And below that, we're going to add another half circle and then one more smaller half circle. There we go. I'm going to do the same for his hind legs, also known as his back. One, two, three. And we're going to go straight down here, halfway. We're going to add a little joint here. Okay. Uh, so he can bend a little bit better. And we're going to add this rest of his leg here. And we're going to add a little joint there. Okay. And we're going to put a little paw. A little robotic paw. There we go. We're going to do the same on this leg. Now, this drawing, this time, may take a little longer to work with, just because we have more area to cover and a little more detail, and you guys are doing so well, we can kick it up just a little bit this week. There's another semicircle. One, two, three. Bring it down. And joint, bring it down, joint, and there we are. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add, he's going to be reaching out like with his paw. So we're going to put a circle here. Okay. And we're actually going to add a little bit there and a little bit right over
over here and we're going to reach and that's this cheek we're going to put that one joint there Place that line out the middle there put this here and we're going to bring another circular there and here we're going to just add his little paw now what he's missing here are those straight little lines one two three four five, six seven eight that's where his little claws are right okay now we're going to add our little robotic tail so we're going to make little curved rectangular shapes that we're just going to kind of have them float it looks like like they're floating just slightly each one will get a little bit smaller as we go okay and we're going to curve Actually, well, no, that's fine. I'm going to do that over, guys. Sorry. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to add a slight curve here. Very lightly, we're going to make that little curve there and that little line is where we're going to start adding some detail and little rectangular shapes for his tail now what I've done is I made this little arc here that I'm going to eventually erase and each one is going to get smaller as I build my way up to a final shape there. I'm going to get rid of those little lines in between in between each one. Okay. There we go. And I am simply going to add circle on top right here and a starburst there we go all right so we have our little mechanical kitten we're missing one little item here straight out whiskers that's always fun to add all right and if you want to add some detail in his joints you can add another circle in here because details always make things pop just a little bit more there you go and we'll do the same here and we'll do the same here cool all right that's our little kitty. Now we're going to make a dude. A dude to go with our kitty. So I'm going to shift this paper over just a little bit here. I'm going to bring it down some. And I am going to start with a, uh, another curve. We're going to stick with this style. Okay. This is a slight curve, and we're going to very lightly, because we're going to erase in a minute. I'm going to add that there. This is going to be 
the dude's head. There we go. And on top of his head, we're going to add a baseball cap, a robotic baseball cap. So we're just going to slice it here. And from this point, we're going to go up. If you've run out of paper for this and you're going over the edge, that's okay. Remember, we're here to just to have a good time, take a break away from the screens, away from academics, and just try to use our brains in a different way by creating. A lot of benefits when it comes to the arts. There we go. Add a little oval type there, skinny oval. And you can come in here and you can actually similarly like what we did with Kitten. Add that extra component there so it looks more like a metal plate. Is added there and then you can add some bolts all right cool now let's put some hair in this guy I'm gonna turn my page slightly I'm gonna give him a little spike here Get down a little spike there and another spike here. Awesome. And we're going to come down here. We're going to get one here. We're going to go a little shorter there, a little longer there. And we're just going to add that there so it looks like it's kind of a shaggy looking hairdo there. All right, there we go. This guy, I want him looking even goofier than the cat. So what he's going to do is he's going to have one smaller eye. And then one bigger eye. There we go. He's got this small eye here. And then he's got this. I'm going to want to make him look off a little bit in the other direction. There we go. It's kind of funny looking. Makes people smile. His smile, actually. He needs a smile. He's going to smile all the way from one side to the other. And we're just going to put two little smile lines there. There we go. All right, now, let's move this up, and we're going to come down, we're going to put a hoodie on this guy, we're going to just pull this neck down here, and we're going to make it like a little J, okay, and then we're going to come over here, and we're going to pull it down and make kind of the reverse, just not as bent as the other one. Under this J, we're going to come here, we're going to pull down there, and we're going to make a V for this guy, okay? There we go. Now, the hoodie. Hoodies are not the easiest to draw, so pay close attention. We're going to come to his chin. We're just going to go pull this out here, and we're going to curve downward. Okay, there we go. Then we're gonna go out here and we're gonna pull that out and we're gonna curve down. And then we're gonna come in. And we're gonna stop right there. And then we're gonna go right about under his chin and we're gonna pull down here at a different angle. And we're gonna curve down, make it a little smoother. Then we're gonna bunch it out and we're gonna pull it right back in there. Okay. Now, we're going to add a little oval here and a little oval there. And we're going to put the little drawstring cords right there. And if you want to add a little detail, you can add that little tip as well. 
go. All right. Now, let's make the rest of his hoodie. We're gonna make hoodies are usually baggy and kind of slouchy, so we're gonna curve in, and then we're gonna just curve out, and we'll curve out again, and then we're gonna just go whoop, and we're gonna bring it across. Now remember, you can stop the video and rewind. And go as slow as you like, okay? This is going to be his shoulder. Again, it's a little more detailed than you're used to, so if you just want to work with the kitty cats, if you're younger, that's also fine. We're just going to add a few little wrinklies here. And we're going to pull the sleeve down. And we're going to make it... We're going to curve here a little cuff. Let's add a little pocket. There we go. Now this guy is going to be walking his cat. So we're just going to put a little arm here. Just make it a little hoodie-like action here. Going back there. Okay. Got a little cuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little collar on our cat right about here. And we're going to make a little bit of a uh, chain here. We're going to go whoops. That's going to go in his little sleeve there. And we're going to follow along that line that we just made. And we're just going to Looking cool. So he's holding on to the little chain there. Now, we're going to imagine that this is a bigger hoodie and his waist is right about there. So we're going to simplify a little bit. Pull these down here. And we're going to arc for his shoe. Okay, and then we're going to just going to connect these two. There we go. We're going to put a little sole down here. zipper is and we'll add a little bit of embroidery all right it's coming along let's move that a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing okay move it up a little bit there's his shoes. I'll leave that there for you for a moment. So you could do this over time. Um, pause it. it. Took me about 
13 minutes to draw this much. Now remember, if you're younger, keep it simple. You don't have to do the whole thing. It's all about having fun. Whatever part you want to do. If you want to just do the kitty cat, that is completely fine. If you want to try the dude next to it, awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to add a little roadway in the back here at an angle. And we're going to tilt it the other side this way. And that is known as perspective. Remember, you can make these as complex or as simple as you like. There we go. I'm going to add a double line here. Just because I know when I color it, I'm going to like some boldness. One thing I'd like to add, just because I look at street art and it seems pretty colorful, this will be pretty colorful as well, I'm going to just add a rainbow off to the side. So with a red. Orange. yellow Ooh, that's gonna curve there that's cool red orange yellow what's next guys do you know what's next green I'm gonna do it from this little street line yellow green and I'm gonna go purple red orange yellow green blue purple red orange yellow green blue and violet that's the purple Roy G Biv or as my father used to say, backwards, vibguire, just to be funny when I try to remember the colors of the rainbow. And I'm going to pull these lines down through here also. Remember, erasers are our friends. It is okay to make mistakes. All right. So here is our little cartoony guy. Now, when we color it, that's what's going to be super fun. That's where it gets super street arty. And we will just move that. First things first, what am I going to use? Sharpies. There you go. All right, let's go into hyperlapse. Take a look at it for a minute there. And we are done with the drawing. On to stage two.
So this one is a little bit more challenging than the other drawings for some of you with, in the younger grades particularly. Feel free to try the challenge. That is awesome if you do. If you don't feel up to the challenge or you feel a little too challenged, there will be a separate tutorial, like I said, with just this portion of the cat, just his face for the younger audience. So you can try this. It'd be awesome if you did. And if it doesn't work out for you, you know what? That's okay too, because you tried. So there will be certain levels that we can try. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to start with a hyperlapse and get that black outline. And then from there, I will go with like a pink and let's see an orange and probably a yellow and we'll have a burst coming out from each one to make it more street art like and possibly even a blue so I'm gonna start that for you and we'll see how it goes alrighty and remember there are lots of options it's all about having fun
And there you have it. A very bright, colorful, cheerful, happy, cartoony, and welcoming display of urban art. So wouldn't that be fun if you're walking in a concrete jungle and you see nothing but grays and streets, taxis to walk by, boom, you see the big mural of this. I'm sure it'll make you smile. So this is an example of urban art. And like I said, if you want to tackle this, feel free. If not, I'm going to have a simplified version for the younger children um, in probably K to three. Um, anyone is welcome to try it. It's great for older ones also. Um, adults would enjoy it. So feel free to tackle something similar and add your own flair. You can see we have the thick lines that stand out a little bit to make the actual cat and the guy, little dude, pop. And the colors are very inviting and welcoming with a lot of flair. So again, feel free to try this version. Take your time. It took a little longer than 30 minutes. It took about 30 minutes or so to draw, but the coloring is always the longest. So you could split it up over time. You could do it all at once. You could um, slow it down. It's all up to you. But total time was probably about a little over an hour to uh, from start to finish, but that's fine. I enjoyed it. It was relaxing. It was fun, and that's what the whole point is. Now, we will also do the simplified version in another tutorial with just the cat's head for the younger children. So, all right. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Peace.